Hey guys, Dan Valamon here with Fanatic Wrestling. Today we are out in the Denver, Colorado area, or region, however you want to say it. We are at Bear Creek High School, former school of Adeline Gray. Um, Adeline Gray, if you guys don't know, is a five-time world champ, one of the greatest wrestlers that's ever come out of the United States, one of the greatest wrestlers in the world currently, and we just finished filming an instructional video with her. We went over a whole bunch of her favorite moves, some offense, some defense, a lot of stuff that works in folk style, and a lot of stuff that works in freestyle. So there's a little bit of something for everybody who's checking out this video, so I really encourage you to check it out. But right now, we're just going to go over a little bit of a preview of what to expect in this video that's coming out. So, Adeline? All right. My first move is going to be a single leg takedown. It's one of my top scoring moves for sure. So this is going to happen if you have a left leg lead, I'm a right leg lead. I will change elevation, step into the high single. My head is going to be in that chest. From here, I'm rotating the hip down. And then climbing on top from there in the parterre position. So I noticed you're getting a lot of pressure with your with your shoulder there, and it's really making it hard for me to stand up straight. What exactly are you doing here that's helping get that pressure? Yeah, so once I get in that single leg position, I'm taking my shoulder and sheeting it on top. So it feels a little bit different. The shoulder's not behind the leg. It's forcing me to kind of bring that shoulder on top of the leg. So when I'm in on this position, I'm squatting down with that pressure of the shoulder as this head is rotating back. So that allows me to create some torque to sit you down so I can get on top of that parterre position in there. Yeah, and guys, just like Adeline's saying here, it's really getting a lot of pressure. It's making me like level change here, making me really uncomfortable. So if she's not getting that pressure, I'm not going to necessarily just fall over. So she's using that downward pressure from her shoulder, but also that backwards pressure with her head. It's knocking me off balance, making her able to get this takedown. Um, let's just see one more time. And so just one more question in here too. Um, I'm guessing this is just kind of assuming that I'm not really trying to pressure back in you too much. You beat me so much to the point where my weight's going to shift into this back foot. What if I'm able to kind of pressure back in and kind of create that, um, that position where both guys have been able to work in there? Yeah, I, I noticed that with my head position. So I can do the dump if my head is in their chest. If my head is not in their chest, then that's when I have to go down to the leg. So I shoot over the single leg, I feel you pressure back in. I push you to cause you to step and then step back in with this thing or with the other the low angle. So if we go to this side, again, same position. I try to get this back. Once I feel my head start to dip a little bit, I push them to force that foot to step, grab the low on this angle, step in with my hip, and then from here, I'm going into a trip to go into either leg lace or a ground wrestling attack. Nice. I mean, guys, this is great stuff here, and if you've seen any of the other YouTube videos we do, I always like finding something that, depending on how our opponent reacts, we have different options here. So, if she catches me off guard and really knocks me to that far foot, she's able to sit me back. But if I'm pressuring in, she's able to slide down, readjust that pressure, so again, puts me to that far foot, makes my inside foot nice and light, she's able to lift it up and get a nice easy finish there. And then again, in freestyle, you're ending up in a position where it's really easy to get a base. So, Guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay on the lookout for Adeline's instructional video. Tons and tons of great stuff in there. Again, one of the best wrestlers to come out of the U.S., one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. So get out there, check out that video. Uh, like us, subscribe to our channels, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, again, stay on the lookout for this video and all the other videos on our stores, bjjfanatics.com, fanaticwrestling.com. Talk to you guys soon.